Hey, Nicole. Hello, Sandy. How are you? Feeling a Negroni? Yes, please. That sounds great. All right, let's make you one. You've been here before? No, I haven't. It's my first time. We've actually been around for almost three years now. Oh, wow. Yeah, we're a little speakeasy cocktail bar. We're inspired by a very special person in the world. You may or may not know him, but he's called King Enfolzo the 13th. He was a ruler of the Spanish Empire, and he was known to be a very wise man who always had different councils from different countries and different backgrounds. Uh, and hence, he was called El Sabio, the wise king. I'm not the king, but uh, <laughs> definitely I'm trying to be the wise one over here. <laughs> so the drink you're actually going to be trying over here is our signature, which is a twist on a man Negroni, a classic Italian cocktail with a bit of Mandarin twist, along with some local gin that we're using, which is an NIP uh, gin made in Hong Kong. One of the only two gins made in the entire city over here. You know, uh, Hong Kong is not known to make some craft spirits, so having new ones be made is, is a real treat. Most of the spirits that we buy in Hong Kong come from overseas, mm -hmm. so we always try to support local in our business, and we're always happy about it. Here we have our signature Mandarino Negroni. We are going to do one final touch with, and that is our little bergamot zest. Oh, I'm excited. That is for you. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. I would say this drink might even be the reason why we got on our 50 best bar award list. So are all your cocktails kind of like this with a twist? Yes, they are. Actually, uh, our menu focuses on a lot of food products. So picture tomato, cheese, pistachios, almonds. We take those kind of flavors and put it into our cocktails and bring it to life. We are known for a little later, after dinner crowd. So usually right about 8.39 onwards, people do come out here. We're a great place for after dinner drinks. Yeah. We do have a good mix of people. We do have quite a lot of Hong Kong people coming from all over. We have got a great neighborhood crowd. We are in the heart of Soho, so all our neighbors are lovely and supportive. As a Hong Konger myself, I travel around the world to try different cocktail bars. So it's great that people travel around the world to come see us to have a drink. So you're from Hong Kong. Same say Guangzhou Mana. Guangzhou Mana. However, I'm shy to speak about it, so I speak very little. But yes, I am Chinese by law, Indian by blood. So growing up in the city has been amazing. I think the city has a lot to offer. There's a lot of great cocktail bars. So I'm, you know, truly happy to have my own bar over here. Your drink's empty. Feeling another one? Yes, please. What are you feeling? Um, how about something citrusy and refreshing? Oh, I've got the perfect one for you then. We've got one of our signature drinks. It's actually called the pistachio sour. One of our most popular drinks on the menu and my personal favorite as well. Sounds good. Perfect, let's make it. So the drink here, if you see, it's got this beautiful hue of green. But what we've actually done is we've cooked up the pistachio with the rum together. So it brings a nice, beautiful flavor and color. With that, we have a little bit of a mix, which is which our citrus mix, where we have lemon and lime blended together. We like to bring the two flavors in without just having one or the other. And the last piece over here is our pistachio rub that we make. It's tasty, almost like a dessert in a glass. Do you want to shake? Sure. All right, your turn. Ooh. Go ahead. That's really cold. Yes, <laughs> I'll give it back to you. not that easy. <laughs> oh, wow. It's a nice, beautiful color like the pistachio, right? Well, what we're missing and what we're going to add at the very end is our ricotta cheese foam. Oh, wow. That looks so good. <laughs> and our final touch should be little pistachios. Okay. Pistachio sour for you. Thank you. Cheers. Oh, wow, that is really refreshing. So this drink actually was inspired by a little dessert that we wanted to do. Mm -hmm. We wanted to bring different few flavors in. It's great for seasonal. It's great for the season that we're in Hong Kong. Yeah, this is definitely perfect for Hong Kong, especially when it's so hot. That was great, Sandeep. Such a good take on the classics. So, you got a big night ahead? Yep, I've got lots of bars to check out. All right. Bye. Bye.